How would you describe a molecule? It is enough to say it's pretty tiny and it consists of atoms with bonds between them. However, what about a molecule consisting of thousand atoms, like this protein? We can go atom by atom, but it would not be efficient. Instead, we should expand our vocabulary and label groups of atoms as amino acid residues, which combine into chains. The small molecule on the bottom right is called a ligand. This one is tricky, because it can interact with the protein or not, depending on how far is it from the reactive region called active site. Their distance is therefore critical when studying proteins. Let's step up. What if the molecule starts moving? Such simulations are called molecular dynamics and their study is one of the main tasks in modern biochemical research. If we want to know how the protein changes over time, we need to watch the simulation frame by frame, which can easily take hours. So instead, biochemists study geometrical properties of the molecule, such as root mean square deviation or angle. The current workflow is composed of tedious scripting and evaluation of brute force methods. It is very time and resource consuming and hinders hypothesis generation. Moreover, significant parts of the simulations do not carry any meaningful information. For the important bits, we need the interplay of many molecular properties. These are to be aggregated into relevant combinations, often created using a trial and error approach. So let us look at the components on the left. We can divide them into three groups, inputs, measures and aggregations. We use these components as building blocks of the data flow graph to explore the properties. We expand the graph nodes into boxes containing a line chart to quickly overview all computed measures. We propose visual support for exploratory analysis based on these measures, computed as functions of inputs over time. We can combine them into aggregated measures with a color reference to their source nodes. We can derivate, normalize or flip the measures, aggregate them and change them on the fly, so that we might discover many descriptive functions or events in the simulation. The node boxes are relatively small, we call them small boxes. The measure representation is also small, so for more detail we provide a big box, where we can explore the data nuances. The boxes are complemented with a 3D view, for the intuitive selection of inputs and spatial context for the explored measures. Each of the small box nodes is computed in parallel and progressively accesses the available data in batches. This iterative approach guarantees a real-time experience with the tool, an instant approximation of the measures, updated with every new iteration. Our case study illustrates that even with relatively few small boxes, it is possible to express complex tasks. Their use in exploratory analysis is perceived as more efficient than traditional scripting-based methods.